All right, still ahead on Good Morning Hawaii from the corporate world to the kitchen. Doing well, too. Kohala Burger and Taco serving it up fresh and flavorful. We'll give you a sample of a tasty menu and their inspiring story. We're going to have all that coming up right after the break. We're serving up beach style tacos and more with super fresh, super flavorful. If that's what you want, uh, just go to Kohala Burger and Taco for the latest on that. Thanks so much for joining us. This is Carrie Peterson. He is a chef and owner. Thanks for being here this yeah, morning. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Laura. It smells delicious in here. It smells delicious. And you are making one of my favorite things. Um, and we are talking about also an award winning dish for you. Let's talk about uh, one of your signature dishes, the fish tacos. This is our uh, fresh fish uh, beach style tacos. Mm -hmm. It's a blackened and seared rare taco. Comes on corn tortillas with mm -hmm. our homemade pineapple salsa, uh, fresh shredded cabbage, garnished with a lime, and our signature jalapeno aioli. Ooh, jalapeno. That's music to my ears. <laughs> I love a little kick spiciness, especially with fresh fish. That's great. great. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, Kohala Burger and Taco over there on the Big Island. Okay. Well, we're, yep, yeah, we're located on the Big Island in Kauai High. Kauai High is a small town, so if you can find Kauai High, you can find us. We opened about five years ago, and it's a restaurant that I created. Uh, I wanted to just create top quality food that was approachable for everybody. We focus on quick service, friendliness, uh, and great value. All right, so tell me about the recipe here. Okay, the recipe here is we have fresh ahi tuna, local line caught fish is what we use at our restaurant, along with our grass fed beef for our burgers. Uh, nice. And we've made some blackening seasoning here, and then we're gonna sear this fish uh, just mm -hmm. to get a nice little coating on it and give it some color. Keeping it simple but delicious. I, I love that where you have those nice clean flavors but lots of kicks of uh, other flavors too mixed That's together. Right. I love that. All right, so um, let's talk about a little bit of your history because this is not a new thing. You've been you've been cooking and doing this for a long time now. Yeah, I uh, started working in the restaurant business when I was 12 years old. My family wow. had restaurants. And um, Kohala Burger and Taco is kind of a culmination of all my culinary and management skills. Uh, and I've created a cuisine all of my own. And um, it's just awesome to know how many people have really enjoyed it over there on the Big Island. Let's talk a little bit more about some of the other uh, specialties that you have, some of the fun things that you've created. Okay, well, we have our um, uh, our grass-fed beef burgers. Mm -hmm. We make all of our own patties there at the restaurant. And each of the burger has uh, special ingredients and creation, and they have kind of like some local Hawaiian names to them so that there's a little flair there. Nice. And then we have a whole line of fish tacos. This tropical is just... Tropical shakes, too, I think. Yes. Saw, we, is that right? Yep, we have our tropical milkshakes that are made with um, Dole Pineapple Whip oh, and yeah. we also have yeah. our um, classic malts and milkshakes. Very nice. Okay, so you guys got a website too. Yep, kohalaburger.com. For anybody that is interested in making this recipe today, I've posted the recipe on our oh, website, nice. kohalaburger.com, and they can make the whole thing. Oftentimes when these recipes come up, um, I say to myself, I can make it. They made it look easy, <laughs> but but this, I think I, I think I could do it. I think I could do it. Yeah, I, th I, I would I, imagine part of the trick is not overcooking the fish. Right. Yeah. <laughs> What's it? Any other little tips and tricks um, um, to make sure that people can get the, the recipe one of right? The, one of the tips that I always recommend to people when they're making anything with jalapenos is taste the jalapeno first, ah, to, that's because a very sometimes good they point. can be really spicy, and then very you can blow point. the whole dish out. But um, if you like it a little spicier, great. If not, then you can cut a little bit less. And then I'm going to assemble a couple of the yeah, tacos. I yeah. made some of the items here earlier and uh, these are our corn tortillas. Mm -hmm. The great thing about these tacos is is that they're packed with flavor uh, but they're gluten-free and dairy-free so that's why we call them the beach style tacos yeah. so you can work on your beach body. Easy peasy. So we're gonna add a little bit of our cabbage. Very nice. Uh -huh. Another little uh, slaw mix there for you. Yeah, this is our slaw mm -hmm. mix with two types of cabbage uh, and carrots and then our jalapeno aioli. Mm -hmm that has the roasted jalapenos in it, okay? And then we're gonna take a piece of our, uh, I seared this tuna oh, a little bit earlier. Yeah, so we've got great. some seared rare nice tuna. Fresh. Yeah, this is local line caught mm -hmm. fish. And that's another little uh, slaw of some sort, is that right there too? This is one? the pineapple salsa. This is the piece oh, that we're gonna great. garnish it with. Mm -hmm. And you gotta have a little hit of lime. That makes exactly, I, tell you, I yeah. really think that it makes a big difference. It, it just makes right everything just pop and kind of come together. Definitely. 
Very nice. All right, as you can see, um, easy, fresh assemblies, great flavors, a lot to choose from. Carrie, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, a lot of people like to head up to the Big Island to check out the area. So, of course, the Kohala Burger and Taco, great place to stop by. Yes, thanks thank you here. so much. Oh, it smells so good. We'll be right back.